Hey guys, this is the time to talk about the Galaxy S9. As you know, iPhone X shortage can last up to March. So Samsung is looking forward to cash in this great opportunity. Samsung has secured all the first batch of the Snapdragon 845 processors. As confirmed by these reports that Samsung has the entire batch of Snapdragon 845. Well, not all the Galaxy S9s will use the Snapdragon 845. Only the US versions uses the Snapdragon. The rest of the devices will use the Samsung's homemade Exynos chipset. And both of these Samsung Exynos and Snapdragon 845 are built on 7 nanometer technology, meaning 30% more power efficiency. When Samsung is securing all the Snapdragon 845s, some other companies has to look for something else. Like this year, LG had to use Snapdragon 8 to 1 because Samsung ate all the Snapdragon 835s. This year also, LG might have to do the compromise of using old processors, unless they start to make their own processors or they agree for a late launch. Samsung has always been great with cameras. The Galaxy Note 8 and S8 has some of the best cameras you can find on any smartphone out there. With the Galaxy S9, they are taking it to a whole new level. Samsung recently had a press release announcing two new camera sensors which will be used in upcoming Samsung flagships aka Galaxy S9 and Note 9. So in these new two sensors, the first one is ISOCELL FAST 2L9 with dual pixel technology and second one is the ISOCELL SLIM 2X7 with tetracell technology. The FAST 2L9 is similar to Galaxy S8 and Note 8 sensors. It also have a similar 12 megapixel resolution but with a 1.28 micrometer pixel size instead of 1.4 micrometer on the Galaxy S8 and Note 8. With a smaller pixel size, it will be easy to reduce the camera module, thereby reducing or eliminating the camera bump. Samsung also says that both of these sensors are highly versatile and can be used as back as well as the front camera. This new dual pixel technology will be used to add the background blur effect just using a single camera. It is similar to Google Pixel 2 and Pixel XL 2. I tried to explain this dual pixel technology in my pixel video, so you can go check that out. Link will be in the description. As the secondary camera will not be used for portrait, it will leave Samsung to try something different like a super wide angle lens just like the LG V30. And for most of the people, the wide angle lens is much more useful than a 2x optical zoom lens. I have personally used the LG G6 wide angle lens and I am super amazed with that. And it will be much appreciated if Samsung puts a wide angle lens in Galaxy S9. Now the second camera Samsung announced. The Slim 2X7. It will have the highest ever resolution put by Samsung on any of its smartphone. It will have a freaking 24 megapixels. It will also be the first ever camera to have a pixel size below 1 micrometer. This small size will again help Samsung to make camera smaller and therefore flagships can go thinner and thinner. This tetracell technology will help a lot in low light photography and those 24 megapixels will capture a lot of freaking details. Alongside this, the Galaxy S9 will feature 4K video recording at 60fps and also the super slow motion 1000 frame per second video recording will be there. Sony introduced this 960fps video recording this year and it gained a lot of attention and appreciation in very short time period. And it looks like Samsung has heard what fans really want. They want the super slow motion and Samsung is implementing this in their upcoming flagship. So this is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this new sensor Samsung is using. We will meet in the next video. Till then, peace out.